my wife thinks I got this new air ice maker for when we have guests over, but this is why I really got it. The blue light is on, meaning the ice is full. And before I tell you why I really got it, let's take a look at the ice. Let me show it to you while it's topped off. Here's the ice. You can see the clear ice. You can see how it makes it. I've got it set on regular. It's got another setting so that it'll make even thicker ice. It takes just a little bit longer, but every seven minutes it's chunking out ice. You can see how clear the ice is. It breaks right up. So let me show you why I got it. Okay, watch this. I wanted this ice maker for the beach cooler. This is going to make me supplying everybody at the beach with cold drinks a lot easier. I'm going to tell you why. Our home refrigerator ice maker just does not cut it. So let me show you here. Usually what I used to do is I'd pull this out and I'd take that ice and I'd use it. The only thing is, it takes about 24 hours to fill this thing up. So if I burn this in the cooler for the beach, then we don't have any ice for home, at least for a few hours. And everybody knows that the refrigerators nowadays, they don't produce ice quite as fast and they don't have the capacity that portable ice makers like this would have. So let me show you a close up of the new air and this is the 40 pound ice maker so in a day's time it'll make 40 pounds this chunks out ice every seven minutes it's a beautiful unit it's uh, stainless steel you can see nice quality has some indicators on the front that is to add water when the water gets low when it's full of ice and then the power button and on this model if you take the power button turn it on and then hold it down for five seconds it'll actually turn it into the thick ice mode where the cubes will actually be thicker. It'll take more than seven minutes to get the ice out, but not that much longer. This thing produces ice fast. And you can kind of see what it looks like outside. It's not a huge unit. And actually, I'm gonna set it right over here on that table when we do have uh, guests over, friends, family, whatever, and we wanna make ice because, again, I burned through that home ice maker really fast. Now I could get another ice maker for our unit inside in the kitchen, but that eats up freezer space and the freezer space is already kind of small. So this thing to augment the ice that we can make in the house here in South Florida, where you use a lot of ice is going to be a great option. So I just emptied the basket. Let's take a look at how it's making ice. And you can see this water bar here is the water goes through there, it comes out the holes, it runs over these refrigerated, frozen, see it's already, it's already freezing here. Um, this grid, that's stainless steel, and then it drops down into the pail. That pail holds two pounds of ice. Now, when it's full, the ice will fall out of here and it presses that lever and it'll stop the ice from being made. So then the full ice indicator comes on. Let me show you this. This is the bucket. This holds about two pounds, maybe a little bit more ice than that. Over here, it's got a return area, a little sump. And what's cool about this unit is when the ice melts or gets any water in there, it actually recirculates and makes more ice out of it. So you always have fresh ice. You'll never have to worry about opening this thing up and finding a puddle of water. You put the water in right here, it's got a full line, and you can kind of see the water level down in there. And I've made about three pounds of ice so far. I didn't quite fill it up. I filled it up just to the base of that block right there. So a little water goes a long way. I always keep a one gallon Ziploc bag of frozen ice on hand so I can augment the cooler anytime I want. And all of this ice came out of that machine and I can do that in about, oh, maybe an hour. Leave the machine running and then take it all, put it in the bag. And I've always got ice. That's what makes this thing ideal. Let me give you some real world details on this thing. So it is about 13 and three quarters inches tall, 11 and a quarter inches wide and the depth about 14 and a quarter 
inches. Fits on the tabletop real nice. I'm gonna turn this around and show you the fan. Here's the exhaust fan right here. Right down here at the bottom, it's got a drain plug and you can unscrew that. And there's actually a plastic plug, it's a little silicone plug there. You take that and just put it back on there. You can put a hose on there and have it constantly drain. Let's take a look, I'm sure it's already spit out some ice since it was, and here we go. You notice I emptied it earlier. Now I've already got plenty of ice in there. Let me lift out the bucket and show you how much ice we've made so far. This is gonna be handy at home for events and whatnot, but what I'm looking for really is making my preparation for the beach trips uh, a lot easier. So I'm gonna put this on my beach pro list. And you would think that list would only include things that you're actually gonna have at the beach, but prepping for the beach takes a lot of work. And the easier you make that, the more often I'm gonna to go to the beach or we're gonna to go to the beach. And so that's why generating ice and be able to bag some up and or just pulling it out of here and throwing it in the cooler, uh, I think is gonna be really convenient for me. I've been running this ice maker steady for almost 30 days just to try it out to see if it would break. No issues, it came packaged really nice, well protected, everything had a nice uh, protective skin on it. I took that off. I'm really impressed with the quality so far and uh, I see this being part of the Beach Pro list for a long, long time. If you found this video interesting or informative, please do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video.